thing with Marcus is that we talked a lot about um, how he, he must prepare himself for games here as well as for when he gets back to the state. But I think the biggest thing was for Marcus is to continue to work hard because he has all the talent that you want in a wide receiver, all the tools that you want in a wide receiver. But he has to focus on those and bring them out. And I think the first year after he went back from Ryan Fire in the NFL, he didn't get um, the look or didn't catch the eye that I guess he should have. And so he stumbled that season. But this past year, he really came out with a big bang, just like he did here. And I think the biggest thing with Marcus is, is he, as long as he continues to improve and not settle for just where he is, he's going to be a good receiver. Coaches want you to do is stay consistent as possible, but you know it's tough to do that as well. So we do have up and down years, and, and hopefully he will take this year Marcus will and he make it even bigger this year or the next year coming up, as well as Jason and the guys that have been with Ryan Fire now playing in the NFL. And, and Ken Carter, our offensive coordinator for Ryan Fire, talks about it a lot. Um, he really mentioned the fact the guys that you put out there, those are the guys they represent you as a coach. And so, in turn, I have to represent them well as a coach and teaching them the things that we do with Ryan Fire. So, I, I think both of them work hand in hand with one another. But I think the biggest thing is we, we as a coaching staff of Ryan Fire going out and seeking the talent of the NFL and bringing them here to Ryan Fire. So, I, I think it's been a a good tradition up to this point with just receivers and tight ends alone for Ryan Fire. And I think uh, just continuing that tradition would be a great success for Ryan Fire, not only for just the team, but the fans as well. Well, you know, I you know, and I hate to speak on on individuals that I don't know uh, that I'm not close with, but from what I can see, um, you know. With Ryan Fryer, we really work as a family. And uh, a lot of times the athletes need that personal attention. And uh, from what I've seen, I don't think he just had the personal attention to hold and keep him going.